dear students today we are going to see one more naming reaction called as Claisen Smith reaction this is otherwise called as Claisen reaction so we'll see what is Claisen reaction that is aromatic aldehydes that is not having any alpha hydrogen reacts with aliphatic aldehydes or ketones or esters that is having active hydrogen in the presence of 10% alkali and it undergoes condensation to form alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds or alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes or ketones so what is claisen reaction aromatic aldehydes that is not having any alpha hydrogen reacts with aliphatic aldehydes or ketones or esters that is having active hydrogen reacts in the presence of 10% alkali it undergoes condensation to form alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds so we'll see the reaction for this so already we have known aromatic aldehyde that should not have active hydrogen so what is the aromatic aldehyde chosen that is saying that is benzaldehyde that is not having any alpha hydrogen but what is the aliphatic aldehyde chosen that is called acetaldehyde and that is having alpha hydrogen so these two would be reacted in the presence of 10% NaOH or 10% alkali there may be condensation that is here this oxygen has to combine with these two hydrogen and removed as water that's why this CH, this CH has to connect with the left CH by means of double bond. Why there may be double bond? We have, because here carbon is connected to oxygen by means of double bond and from this carbon two hydrogens are removed. That's why these two carbons should be united by means of double bond to satisfy the valency of this carbon and this carbon. So what we are getting? We are getting a cinnamaldehyde. This is an alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so why it is called alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound because this is the carbonyl group so this is the aldehyde so now according to this functional group this carbon no so this carbon can be called as alpha carbon and this carbon no so that can be called as beta carbon beta carbon so unsaturation is present between alpha and beta that's why it is called as alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so what is this aromatic aldehyde that is not having so aromatic aldehyde that is not having any alpha hydrogen reacts with aliphatic aldehyde that is having alpha hydrogen there may be condensation in the presence of 10 percent alkali we are getting alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so if you have treated benzaldehyde with acetaldehyde what we are getting we are getting cinnamaldehyde next if you have taken two molecules of benzaldehyde that is treated with one acetone that is the aliphatic ketone means here one molecule of water is removed here one molecule of water is removed so what we are getting we are getting dibenzol acetone so two double bonds here we got if it is one molecule of benzaldehyde that is treated with acetone we are getting Di sorry benzol acetone so two molecules of benzaldehyde treated with acetone we are getting dibenzol acetone if that is only one molecule of benzaldehyde we got benzol acetone so if the benzaldehyde is treated with ethyl acetate that is an aliphatic ester here also there may be condensation that is removal of one molecule of water in the presence of 10 percent alkali we got ethyl cinnamate so here also alpha beta unsaturated compound we got so now we'll see the mechanism of this reaction there may be four steps so first one is removal of alpha hydrogen so which is having alpha hydrogen that is the aliphatic aldehyde or ketone or ester so first we have taken one aliphatic aldehyde that is called as acetaldehyde that is treated with hydroxyl ion so from where we got that hydroxyl ion that is from 10 percent alkali we got this now it is having that alpha hydrogen no that alpha hydrogen this alpha hydrogen reacts with this hydroxyl ion and that is removed as water so we got only ch2 ch2 so if one proton is removed it is having it is getting negative charge that's why it is called as a carbanion so what is the first step the removal of alpha hydrogen from the aliphatic aldehyde and we are getting a carbanion so second step is addition of the aryl aldehyde with carbanion so we got the carbanion no that carbanion has to treat with has to react with the aryl aldehyde that is aromatic aldehyde so here what is the aromatic aldehyde chosen that is called benzaldehyde that is treated with carbanion by this addition what happens here carbon is connected to oxygen by means of double bond no so that double bond would be broken that's why this carbanion here we have no that has to connect with this carbon 
So, the double bond would be converted to single bond that is why this oxygen should get negative charge. So, we are getting one intermediate. So, we got one intermediate. So, what is the first step? Removal of alpha hydrogen from aliphatic aldehyde, we are getting carbon ion. Second step is that carbon ion has to react with the aryl aldehyde and we are getting one intermediate. Now, we will see the third step that is called as protonation. Now, from this, uh, we, we got the intermediate. Now, with the intermediate, there may be addition of one proton. That proton has to react with this oxygen. So, that is why the negative charge is removed. That would be converted to hydroxy ion. That is also an another intermediate. So, last step is dehydration. So, from the intermediate, there may be removal of one molecule of water. So, how the water is removed? By taking this hydroxy ion, sorry, hydroxy group and this higher proton. So, water is removed that is why to satisfy the valency of this carbon and this carbon there may be formation of double bond and we are getting alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound that is cinnamaldehyde. So, that is all about the mechanism. So, now we will see the applications of this reaction. So, first one is it is used for the synthesis of unsaturated carbonyl compounds that is used in perfume industry that is when we have known that benzaldehyde is treated with acetaldehyde in the presence of 10 percent alkali, it undergoes condensation and we got cinnamaldehyde. So, if two molecules of benzaldehyde would be treated with acetone in the presence of alkali, we got dibenzol acetone. So, these two are used in perfume industry. Second one is it is used to detect the presence of CH2CO, CH2CO, CH2 groups in natural products. And third one is it is used to synthesize natural products like beta inone, piperin, flavones, etc. We will see that. So, starting material for this is called citrol. This citrol is having a carbonyl group and that is treated with acetone that is an aliphatic ketone. So, by this addition water is removed by taking this oxygen with the two hydrogens that is why this CH has to connect with this CH by means of double bond. So, we are getting one alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. This reaction occurs in the presence of alkali that is barium hydroxide. Now, it reacts with sulfuric acid in the presence of glycerol. What happens? Here it is having a bond no. So, that bond is removed and instead of that these two carbons would be united and we are getting two products. One is the beta inone, another one is alpha inone. So, beta inone is the major product. So, that was the natural that is the natural compound. So, that is all about the applications of this reaction. So, what is Claisen reaction? Aromatic aldehyde that is not having any alpha hydrogen reacts with aliphatic aldehydes or ketones or esters that is having active hydrogen or alpha hydrogen in the presence of 10 percent alkali it undergoes condensation to form alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds. So, that is all about Claisen reaction or Claisen-Smith reaction. Thank you.